think the quick answer is that Asian Americans are given white privilege, especially the Asian Americans who fit the model minority stereotype. The quid pro quo for receiving that privilege is upholding white supremacy culture, which means being anti-black. I was talking with somebody last night who was pointing out that the Civil Rights Amendment was passed in 1964. Um, but also in the 1960s, the United States opened the door to Asian immigration. So now you have an influx of racial minorities who knew nothing about the history of white violence against black people, knew nothing about the black civil rights movement. Um, so they arrived with civil rights, not understanding how that came to be. Um, and also, it effectively um, erased the United States' own anti-Asian um, history because people, Asian Americans, came in not necessarily knowing about the Chinese Exclusion Act or the internment of Japanese Americans in the United States during World War II. Um, and I think that Asian Americans are used as a buffer um, between the black community and the white community because in the 1960s, um, there was almost a racial reckoning. Um, the white power structure almost had to face accountability for the history of violence um, against black people. Um, but instead, Asian Americans were inserted um, and were pit against each other so that we're always up against each other um, and that basically like white supremacy escapes accountability. And the example that I think think of um, that sort of started like the root of a lot of tension is Asian Americans were buying into the negative um, media stereotypes of black people. And then in the events that led up to what became known as the LA riots, um, the LAPD kettled protests away from wealthy white neighborhoods and into Koreatown um, and, then, and then they left. Um, and we know how that played out. Um, so again, the two communities being pitted against each other um, and away from the white power structure. Um, and obviously the model minority myth is used to oppress the black community. And um, there's so much here. I like. I will be getting more into it, but I feel like that's the quickest answer that I can give that gets a little bit into the history. And I'm really curious to know what the black community and Asian Americans feel about this. Um, but please be patient with me.